Hey guys, this is J-Man Works with another case review for the iPhone 4S. This is the OtterBox Commuter Series in white and purple. You may say, why white and purple? Well, this is actually a case I got from my mom and I am reviewing it right now. This is a two-piece case, so you're going to have the inner layer here. This is kind of a, I guess, a silicone. And then you're going to have the outer layer here, which is a hard plastic right here. First, I'm going to try to talk about the positives of the case and what I like about it before I talk about the negatives. So, first, let me go ahead and just put the phone in. Um, putting the case on the phone is pretty easy. You're just going to display. This is a really, let me show you real fast before I put it on. This is a really flexible uh, silicone here, you know. You can see it's really... It's not a TPU, which I don't like it to be, but basically you're just going to put the phone in there. Not too hard. Just make sure the corners are popped in. And once the corners are popped in here, basically you see you're going to have grooves on either side, on this side here, and then on this side here. And then on the top, basically you have this little groove right on the top and then same thing at the bottom so then you're just going to take the plastic part of the case put it around the top first around those buttons and then just slide it over the bottom here just like that just make sure the sides here Push all the way on. So first I'm going to talk about protection for this case. As far as protection, they claim it's about the middle of the road for OtterBox. However, I'm going to say this is their most protective case because of this rubber on the inside and this hard outside. The, the, they say that the OtterBox Defender is their best case as far as defense, and it does have a front screen shield built in and this cover for this back logo right here but the thing about the Defender is it has the hard plastic on the inside so even though it does have some shock protection I'm going to say this one has a little bit more and it also won't scratch your phone because you have this soft silicone against your phone instead of hard plastic so this is going to be probably the best case for protection um, Accessibility on the top here, you're going to see they have a little cutout for your noise canceling mic and then um, a little flap for the microphone. This is kind of hard to get out, you have to kind of get your finger in there. There we go, and there's that right there. And then you have your sleep wake button right here. Um, it is pretty hard to push, you have to give it quite a bit of force to push it which I don't like there's quite a bit of cushioning in there um, here's the camera cut out you do have this black ring around it so you aren't going to get any flashback um, on the other side here you got a pretty good size cut out for the sleep wake you don't even have to dig your fingernail in there really and then volume buttons again you have to push pretty hard in order to get a feedback there um, and then on the very bottom here, you get this individual cutout for the speakers, the microphone, and then another flap here for the 30-pin jack there. You do have way on the table design as well here, as you can tell. Um, nice thing to see. So overall for the case, I'm going to say really good protection. Um, the accessibility in this case is good for this headphone jack. Uh, you'll get most headphones in there, and pretty good case overall. However, here's what I don't like about the case. This inner part here is silicone, so it's not very tight around the case, and it's kind of hard to get it, you know, all the way around the phone and get it fitting really well. Um, you know, you can see this is on pretty well right here. But there is a gap right here, and sometimes it doesn't slide on all the way. It's a really thick silicone, so, you know, it's it's just not very tight around the phone, so, eh, doesn't give it the best feel. Also, one thing I really don't like about this, too, 
just if you can tell if it focuses here. This is really dirty right here. Now this is the light version, so it's going to show more than other colors. But even so, it would have been better if it's more of a TPU that doesn't attract dirt. But this gets really dirty here. In fact, if I take off this hard plastic right here. So here's what it here's what it normally looks like the white under there and then here's the white now from dirt hitting it and that sort of thing. You can see how discolored and how dirty it is. And what I don't like about the silicone is it doesn't come out. So it's kind of it's one thing I dislike. Now for the hard plastic itself, this goes really tight around the phone. So if you're wanting to take it off, it takes a little bit of force and this plastic right here is a really thin piece of plastic so if you can see right here this part is cracked right there and it's just because this plastic is so thin so build quality for this case is isn't that great the protection is good but build quality isn't that great this plastic is thin and the silicone just doesn't fit very tight and of course it gets really dirty um, I mean, pretty good case. It's not bad. If you already have this case, I wouldn't complain. It's going to provide some of the best protection for, you know, cases in this range on the market. However, for the price that they're saying, you can get it on Amazon for about 20 bucks. But, I mean, for that price, there's really a lot of cases that go up against it. There's the case I just reviewed not too long ago, the Switch EV Equip, which I think is a better case. Not quite as good protection. However, it seems like the build quality is quite a bit better, and it's going to be a lot slimmer if you're not needing that protection. So, final thoughts. Good case, but I like to see the build quality a little bit better. I like the concept. I think this inner... Uh, silicone or they could use a TPU this inner soft material in the hard plastic is the type of case that I think provides the best protection um, I've used the OtterBox reflex and the inside is plastic scratched up my phone that's what I like about this even though it might not look the best over time it's still no scratches on this phone whatsoever solid case but there's better options out there for the price. Thanks, hope you like this video. Have a good day.